Detroit CNN hosted another Democratic debate, and I saw a poll that said 34% of Democrats were very motivated to watch this week's debates. But that number dropped to 4% when Democrats remembered it's Shark Week. President Trump did not tweet for the entirety of tonight's debate, and I think we all owe a big thank you to the Bachelorette finale. Actually, while the debate was on CNN, ABC was showing the finale of The Bachelorette. I could tell some people were confused halfway through the debate. Luke P. burst on stage and proposed to Elizabeth Warren. I'm not saying CNN wanted fights just to gin up the ratings. I'm just saying it was a little suspicious when they even lowered that cage over the stage. After the first half of tonight's debate, Google searches for former Congressman John Delaney increased by 3,400 <laughs> percent, and still no results. Weird. They don't have a better process. For thinning the herd. Have 30 years of reality TV taught the Democrats nothing? You can't go from 20 candidates right to one. First, you have to put them on an island and separate them into tribes. Opening statement at tonight's Democratic debate Senator Elizabeth Warren said that President Trump disgraces the office of the president every single day, which isn't fair because he's really only in the office like twice a week. A lot of people noticed online that Elizabeth Warren and Amy Klobuchar were dressed almost. Identically, but what they overlooked is that they were both dressed like Michael Jackson. And... This is the exact same conversation we've been having since since I was in high school, and that was almost three weeks ago. When their time was up, a red light appeared, which did put Bernie Sanders at a disadvantage because usually when the light turns red, he falls asleep until someone behind him honks the horn. Uh, companies like Amazon that made billions in profits did not pay one nickel. In federal income tax. And one nickel is a lot. You can take a streetcar to the Ziegfeld <laughs> and see a talkie, see a talkie, and still have enough left over for an egg cream at Woolworths. Medicare for all is comprehensive. It covers all health care needs for senior citizens. It will finally include dental care, hearing aids, and eyeglasses. But you don't know. Second that. of all, you don't know that, second Bernie. of all, we'll come I, to you in a second, I do know, and I wrote the damn bill. the damn bill. And it's a good thing you get dental care, Tim, because they just slapped the teeth out of your dirty mouth. <laughs> Chaku! John Delaney did not buy Bernie's health care numbers. His math is wrong. That's all I'm saying. If his math is wrong... I'm not sure the guy polling below 1% should be talking about math right now. Medicare for All is comprehensive. It covers all health care needs. For senior citizens, it will finally include dental care, hearing aids, and eyeglasses. Okay, why, why does Bernie sound like he's pitching health care only for himself? <laughs> we, will, we will cover hearing aids, eyeglasses, and insurance if you slip in the shower. Uh, especially in my downstairs shower where it got that weird part of mildew that gets slippery. The point is it's for everyone.